and team will be honored here at halftime. 50 years ago, the Wolfpack won the national title. There's Burns. It's 4-0. And I, I'm mm-hmm. telling you, Wes, this is... You add to it with good play early, and all of a sudden, B.C. might be in a world of trouble. Here's O'Connell starting for the seventh straight ball game for Coach Keats. Transfer from Stanford. Oh, that had no chance. McLaughlin blocked it away. Working against Morcell. Front rim miss. Here's Horn and the Wolfpack trying to flip the floor. D.J. spots up and hits. He get Horn a shot. Here's McLaughlin turning with the right hand. Post the rebound. B.C. gets a second chance. He'll try and back down the R with the right hand, and there goes Quentin Post to work. And he's and he's trending continually in the right direction, and they've got a good basketball team. Zachary took it away from Horn, and Jaden Zachary scores. Jaden Taylor, by the way, the transfer from Indianapolis on the floor. Here's Burns up strong against Armani Mighty. Third field goal for D.J. Burns. Here's Jaden Taylor on a hard drive. Burns tried to keep it alive and did. But it's a league bay that comes up with it. And he fires a lead pass and Madsen scores. How about that turn of events for Boston College in 94 feet? He's obviously an elite shooter, but he's doing other things as well, too. Sure is. Here is Taylor for three. First three of the ball game belongs to Jaden Taylor. They call it double or monster. Whatever you want to call the terminology, is it at the dribble? Is it at the block? And then that's where it becomes the issue. And now he knocks down a 15-footer. Here is Taylor. Horn has for the single field goal. Here's Burns going to work. He'll kick it for Horn. There's a three away. Got it. Kicks it to Horn and finds an open three. Burns was so confident he started down the floor. Backdoor layup from Madsen. Earl Grant's team on the board. See right now, BC's are trying to they're trying to get the post, but Diara's done a great job fronting post to take the ball away from one of those plays. Brent Salikbe knocks down just his fifth three of the year. O'Connell the recovery. Here's Horn right back. Diara tees up another one. Sure. But fortunately for NC State, Burns has picked up on that slack, and that hasn't been the case as much in the last few games. There's some of what D.J. Horn's been putting on the board, though. You see, with Post not being in offensively, it changes the high, the five-out action. Zachary three, got it. Jaden Zachary, five points. McLaughlin working on Burns now. Boy, Zachary turns and left it short. In the corner, McLaughlin, a long three. Offensive rebound, he'll feed Aligbe for the hammer. Second field goal for Prince Aligbe. Just a two for you on ACC Network here this afternoon. Georgia Tech, Miami follow. Here is Aligbe on a nice throw on the inbounds pass. The full court man-to-man and had nobody back. Burns was back, but he was kind of up by half court. Great throw behind. Great pass by Burns as well, too, there on the backdoor cut. Dennis Parker, McLaughlin, plays with Aligbe. Bay. Harris, Matson, and Kelly. And there goes Prince of League Bay and one. I tell you what, he has come off the bench, Josh. He's got nine to lead the Eagles and a chance for double figures. I saw a passer, but watch Burns. Look at Burns' hands. They're all down by his side. There is no ball pressure. So he's caught in no man's land. He's not ball pressuring. He's back. Stays within striking distance where they get the half. And right now they are. They've got to try to get it within single digits. The big thing going into halftime. Kelly a spot up two. First bucket for the sophomore from Houston. NC State ha- hasn't taken full advantage of the opportunities. Horn a long two. Well, he's been on fire, Wes. I mean, those aren't your feet set. They're coming off of dribble handoff. People call it zoom action, which is dribble handoff type of action. And he's sticking them. Madsen, meanwhile, continues to shoot it well. And Claude Harris Jr. has nothing so far today. Horn working on McLaughlin. Stop, fall away, short. By the way, that's 11 for D.J. Horn in this first half. He makes a really tough two. But the issue is, after he scores, he starts celebrating, and Boston College is coming down to transition, and he puts two hands on him, and there's the foul. But it wasn't. And then Burns had the quick miss there on the out-of-bounds, base out-of-bounds, and transition here for B.C. Zachary the catch and score. A little early life out of the Eagles. He's had two good looks this half and three. That was Morcell's three-pointer look. Good. First points for Casey Morsell. It's Donald Hand defending. Horn will take him to the basket. Into traffic with a right hand. Scores. 13 now for Horn. 
scoring creativity. You can see what he's doing. He's getting to the rim, to the lane area, but he's stopping and he's using the pivot to try to get the defense off. The family vacation, however, might be your wife's issue. Here's Diara. Cleaned up O'Connell. All going the Wolfpack way here in the second half. NC State gathers for the Eagles. Here's Claudio Harris still looking for his first basket and has it now. And if you notice in transition. So Burns is going to stay on the floor. Here's State in transition with Morcell. Trying to hit the fall away and does. Five for Morcell all here in the second half. Harris on the lob for post. Diara blocked it out of bounds. Post goes down. I hope he didn't twist an ankle. On a taping job to not have anything more than maybe a light spring. Morcell. He's got seven all in the second half now. The matchup has really not materialized at all. Early foul trouble on post. Hand for three. He'll ring the bell. 21st three. First points of the year. Trailing by a dozen. When Post left the floor, Diara another three. Wow. Mohamed Diara's two field goals today. Talk about the floor spacing and what can open up for NC State. 6'10 junior from France. Adding to it, and there's Elite Bay, who was BC's leading scorer in the first half. And that ball got knocked away. Zachary tried to keep it alive. Here is Taylor loose. The 50-50 loose ball to Taylor with the dunk, and then in... Taylor, a standing three. Off a rescreen of a mighty and a three that's good and a foul on Horn. So Madsen's going to get a chance at the four-point trip. Off, and then Horn goes underneath the handoff, and then he tries to go over on the second one. He's too late. Maybe some other things that don't always show up in the box score, but he's had toughness plays that has allowed NC State to have the lead that they got. Burns taps his own miss home. Another rebound for O'Connell there. Yep. Here's O'Connell. A little soft fall away off the jump stop for Michael O'Connell. Same type of move that Horn makes. Obviously, that's taught by Coach Keats and staff using the pivot foot to create space. Three ball from Zachary at the other end. Or it's a two. It's a two. Working on mighty. Look at the dig down from hand there defensively, Josh. Yeah, absolutely. Boston College, that's what they do defensively, protect the paint. But he still was able to get to his left hand. In the discussion about being a blue blood over this last decade or so, because they've actually had to have more success than Duke and Carolina in the ACC over this last 10 years. There are a handful of other games. But the last, if you, you were to go to the standings today, there's a pull-up by Madsen. Oh, my goodness. Mason Madsen now. Four straight for Boston College. Are all within one game, win or loss college. That's, that's a crazy stat. And I would tell you... Marcel a dunk. And Marcel there with... But that's called an Iverson cut. Over two people at each... A person at each elbow. And he was able to get an angle and get a basket. Donald Hand Jr. has knocked down a pair of threes here in the half. <laughs> Ramifications right. for Wake. I... I I just think the ACC tournament, I don't know how you feel, Wes, and more so there with another bucket. An opportunity in D.C., get your tickets. I think you go to what, ACC. Dot yeah, the ACC.com, you find a way to tickets. Yes. It's going to be a great tournament. Meanwhile, there. Madsen and Burns and a reset of the shot clock for the Wolfpack. Long break over there for Horn, by the way, as Burns scores. D.J. Burns now. Vinny Del Negro was the MVP of the tournament at Capital Center in Landover when the Wolfpack beat Carolina in the finals on a Sunday afternoon. Here's Post back on the floor out of the timeout as well. Post, is, Post has not gotten, he's been all out of sorts, all from the, from the tip. Donald Hand Jr. has got nine. They beat Notre Dame, they beat Carolina, they beat Duke. That's an unbelievable run for Mike Young. Part but that, that also speaks to how the tournament can be that way. Absolutely. And part of that, as you mentioned, is they got to play a game and kind of had rhythm before before each, before each, some of the teams had played, and that allowed them to get into some rhythm and sync. And NC State's not going to be an easy out in the ACC tournament. I mean, look, they're not going to be an at-large bit. They're going to have to win the automatic qualifier. Right. But if, if they can get Taylor to play at a, higher, at a high level like he did tonight, if they can have more sell... 
and Boston College will head home for a couple of games. The Eagles get Virginia on Wednesday night and Pitt next Saturday as Madsen drops another one. He's going to finish with 21. Pretty strong performance here in the last 10 days for Mason Madsen. Terrific win for NC State.